here at the Hyatt. And I would like you to meet six of my closest friends. These are our African penguins. Now they all have their very own special personalities. They all have their own unique eating habits and they all have very strong opinions. So as they're moving through the enclosure, I'm gonna do my best to introduce you to all of the individuals. But right away, I'm sure you're wondering, what are penguins doing in Hawaii? Aren't they supposed to be tobogganing down glaciers and building snowmen in cold places like Antarctica? So we always think of cold environments and we think of penguins, but there are many different species of penguins that live in warm and tropical environments. These ones, of course, as their name suggests, are from Africa, so they're native to South Africa and Namibia. But there are other species of penguins that live in warm places like Australia, parts of South America, and even right on the equator in the Galapagos Islands. So our penguins are nice at, right at home in our nice, usually warm, Maui climate. Uh, and all of these penguins were born right here at the Hyatt. So we don't really need to change much uh, to make them comfortable. Now, you'll notice that some of the penguins look a little scruffy right now. That's because they are about to start molting. So once a year they go through this really incredible process called molting. Most birds, when they molt, they only lose a couple feathers here and there. Penguins rely on their feathers to keep them warm, to keep them buoyant in the water, and to keep them waterproof. So it's really important for them to have really nice clean feathers. So once a year they lose all of their feathers in a relatively short amount of time. So they're almost completely bald and then they grow all new ones. So they go through a time where they look pretty rough and they're a little grumpy. And then when they come out on the other side, they have a fresh new tuxedo. It's a really cool process. So if you see some feathers around the habitat or you see some of the penguins not wanting to go in the water, that's usually because they're molting. <laughs> now we do have three males and three females walking down to the bottom step here is my power couple. This is Nahu and Buddha. Nahu and Buddha are the most dominant pair here in our colony. Now, who is the smallest one? She's the oldest penguin at 18 years old, and mm -hmm. she's my most athletic penguin. Buddha, on the other hand, usually just lets Nahu catch the fish, and then he tries to steal it from her, because he's not very good at catching. Uh, but he is our largest penguin. And they live in the big, <laughs> so you just push her right out of the way. He's not a great boyfriend, but um, they do tend to run things here in the colony. Their house is the biggest one. Uh, each penguin pair has their main penguin house that they spend most of their time in. We do have extra houses around the habitat, and those are just in case. Oh, he caught one. Good job, Buddha. Those are just in case uh, one of the penguins all get in a fight with their significant other, and they have to go sleep in the dog house. So that's why we have extra houses around the habitat. So now the Buddha live in the biggest house. The house in the middle is home to Momi and Mai. Mai is kind of the furthest along on her molt, so it looks like she's kind of hanging out in the house. She's probably a little chillier than the other penguins are. Mommy and Mai usually like to stay out of trouble. And then the farthest house to the left is home to Zen and Tai. Uh, they're hanging out right in the middle. They're like my homecoming king and queen. They're the popular kids. Uh, Zen's always up to shenanigans, like right now, go into Buddha's house and steal stuff. You're gonna get in trouble, Zen. Uh, and so he's always getting in fights with Buddha. When he doesn't get his way, he has a funny way of telling us that he's upset. He'll actually jump on top of Penguin's houses and he'll poop all over them. Yeah. So we know Zen's having a bad day. His girlfriend Ty, on the other hand, who's just watching him cause trouble, she's like, you shouldn't do that. Uh, she's perfect, she's never done anything wrong in her life, and she always looks amazing. So that's Zen and Ty. Uh, now, I'm feeding them a small filling schooling fish today called capelin. It's very similar to what they would eat in the wild. In the wild, they'd be eating sardines and anchovies. Here we feed them capelin for a couple of different reasons. First, it's their favorite food and they're very spoiled, so we want to make sure that they're happy. Uh, second, capelin comes from a more sustainable fish stock than anchovies and sardines do. African penguins are an endangered species in the wild, so we want to make sure that we're not taking any food away from wild penguins and doing our part to help protect their wild counterparts. If you wanted to learn more about penguins in the wild uh, and some organizations that we help support in South Africa, there's a QR code on their new sign over there that you guys can check out. Now, speaking of fish, if I have any kids who want to help me feed the koi fish their breakfast over here, my partner in crime, Julia, is putting out some breakfast for the koi fish. If any kids want to help